AMS Oil, the first in synthetics. All right, we're into the groom trail segment. This is one of my favorites. Now this is when I'm gonna go out and ride and say 100, 150, 200 miles. I'm looking for certain things to do that. I wanna be comfortable, obviously. I wanna be warm. I don't wanna be loud, noisy. I don't wanna have to rockin' and ridin' and jumpin' all over the snowmobile in order to get it to go around a corner, because we're gonna do just the opposite. I'm gonna go nice and easy 150 miles of groom trail. Fish, what do you think? Well, no, you're, you're right on the money there, Polly. We want to be able to go out and ride nice, casual, well, maybe not necessarily casual, but we want to ride, put a bunch of miles on, and be comfortable, warm, dr easy driving. We're going groom trail riding. The groom trail class is stacked full of sleds that are made to ride hundreds of miles. Performance and comfort are high on the list. Our test riders evaluate their top four choices. First, the Skidoo MXZ X800. Skidoo had a lot of big news with their new body and new design to help rider comfort, warm, fierce, sleek, cool looking design. Couple that along with the R Motion and the 800E Tech, it's a great, great package. The R Motion for me, that was the first time I found myself actively searching out bumps to ride over. The bumps that you did hit, you didn't even feel them. You just went right over them and kept going, didn't fuck with you anyway. Yamaha Apex SE. Yamaha Apex, what can I say? 1000cc, X up exhaust, fuel injected, four stroke, fast. I like the power of that sled. I felt like if I needed to get off the trail just for a little bit, I felt like I'd be okay. The Apex was comfortable, was warm. It was like sitting in a, in a big Cadillac or like an old Lincoln, just a cruiser sled. And then the Polaris 800 Rush. Polaris Rush 800 seems a little smaller. When you ride it, it just, it feels tighter. It feels more slot carish, you know, a little racier feel. A lot of great power. Um, I really like the feel of it on the trails. The Polaris was, was snappy, it was, it was responsive. The Sledhead 24-7 Best in Class Groom Trail Sled goes to the Articat F1100 Turbo LXR. If you're gonna go out and ride all day long and you wanna be comfortable, you've got the heated seat, you've got a big windshield, you've got great ergonomics, and then also if I wanna go out to a lake and absolutely terrorize and blow everybody away, I've got the Articat Turbo to get the job done. The power, it was obnoxious, the power that sled had, and it was comfortable. It really was a, a good combination of a lot of things with handling and power and comfort. My favorite part, Jeff's favorite part, Kelly, Paul's crossover. Why? If you're gonna buy one snowmobile and you want one snowmobile to do a little bit of everything, this is it. This is crossover. Well, crossover. Some are we're, we're going 70-30 on off trail and some are 30-70. A lot of different choices. You just gotta go play. With each manufacturer offering at least one crossover, we narrowed it down to four. Up first, the Skidoo Renegade 800 E-Tech. In the snow and on the trail, can't look past the uh, Skidoo Renegades. The R-Motion, I mean, we've been talking about that R-Motion, how good it is. Those things ride the trails nice, the bumps nice. Nice and easy on the trails. It's comfortable out there. It gets me out to where I want to go. Next, the Yamaha FX Nitro XTX 1.75. With the 1.75 track, the dual keel skis, it didn't dart like they did in the past, it tracked real nice, and it went through the powder real nice. With that inch and uh, three quarter track, what a world of difference on that machine. But now, that turbo kit, if they allow that in one of those, that may be something to really think about. Next, the Polaris Switchback Assault 144. It was a lot of fun. It was easy to move around in the powder, off the trails, and on the trails, it was pretty smooth as well. Now, if you're going a lot more off-trail, I'd like the Assault. The Assault worked really good in the snow. Not as good on the trail, in my opinion. A little stuttery in the bumps, but I loved it in the snow. It climbed and climbed. It side-hilled. I mean, I could carve on it. What I really like is it's a typical player, so it's so predictable. You can lay it on its side, wrong foot forward, and spin it right around. The 
the best in-class crossover snowmobile goes to the Articat XF800 Snow Pro High Country. You know, my overall pick for as far as to get to the trails and being real trail friendly and be able to climb and, and run through the powder, I, I really have to give it to the uh, Articat High Country. They did everything real well and they did some things very well. I really enjoyed the 800 High Country. Um, it moved around really great for me. I was um, comfortable on it, on and off the trail. And it was easy to move around out in the powder too. Still ahead, the Rough Trail class. Which manufacturer stepped up their game? Stay tuned.